This is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you so much for joining me for the numerology and the astrology for November 25th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 13. And if you add the one and the three together, you get the number four. Perhaps today is a day to remind everyone that even when things seem out of alignment, on a larger universal level, there is a place of balance happening in various areas. Look to those places that align our soul and spirit. The planets are always moving in consistent ways, the sun always rises on another day, and the moon will always go through its phases. Notice those things that make our personal holiday season special. Find those seasonal traditions and bring them out and share them with others, even if that means leaving boxes of cookies on doorsteps. Share what you have with others, even if we cannot necessarily be with those that we love on Thanksgiving dinner. Traditions help us feel that balance in the world. Flavors and special things remind us of times past when life was more simple. Those moments when cares and fears of our world seem further in the background. And sometimes just those touch tones of familiarity can bring us peace. Now, the astrology for today is kind of basic and simple. There is a desire to get up and get going in the morning because the Aries moon gives us a bit of push and to get out of bed and get into our day. Use this energy to get on top of a few things lingering in our homes. Do those things that will make the day feel calmer and more put together, especially as the holidays approach. There may be a new idea that makes, makes us excited that we wanted to try, perhaps something for the holiday dinner. This morning, there is a minor bump between Mercury, Venus, and the wounded healer teacher Chiron expressing what we feel might be a bit difficult, and there is an awkwardness that makes being warm and affectionate somewhat challenging. Know that a sense of discontent may arise. My quote for today. We look to the hope of the, in the rising sun. The leaves keep falling until they are done. Chaos disperses in the winds of change. The smoke clears, revealing our home on the range. So much in life is about allowing the flow, remembering the gifts that life still can bestow. And my blog for today, I notice more and more in life that many things run as they will without my input or opinion. There is much in life that demands my attention and it becomes clear as I age that most things have their own flow, their own life path, and their own natural evolution that they need to move through. It matters not whether I agree with it or not. It matters not if my perspective is more or less inspired. It matters not what or who I think I am. So much of our behavior is ego. So much in life seems ruled by ego and it is such a waste of a precious life. Why not instead observe and appreciate, wonder and marvel, laugh and exclaim? There are so many things that can touch us deeply if we could manage to let them in, but it is human nature to find fault. I think it might have originally been intended to keep us on our toes and to help us improve ourselves, but then we got kind of carried away in needing to be special and important. I wish everyone could see the beautiful spark of divinity inside them. I wish everyone could find that confidence to embrace their life and their choices without needing others to agree with them or to walk their path with them. Because regardless, we are each walking our own path home and we will all get there in our own time with as many distractions and diversions as is wanted and needed for us to learn awaken and stand fully in our beautiful light. Thank you so much. I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody is planning something like Zoom wise for the holidays and some sort of connection. I hope everyone is making bucket loads of cookies and cakes and dropping them on neighbors houses and their foot on their doorsteps and then texting them and saying you have a present on the doorstep. So anyway, okay, talk to you later. Bye.